Hello everyone! Today we are going to create these adorable highlighters for back to school nails. We all know this is the most dreaded part of the year, so let's try to make it exciting by creating fun and easy back to school nails. For those of you who attempt this design, please send me a picture of your final nails. I would love to see it and might post it on my next video. Items that are needed for this design are listed in the description box below with links. To start, I will use a piece of wax paper as the base. This is great because it's less of a mess than working on a nail and you can transfer it wherever you want to. Step 1. I am taking orange acrylic powder with liquid monomer, using my medium sized acrylic brush and placing approximately 2 medium sized beads on the wax paper to create a rectangular shape for the body of the orange highlighter. I recommend I recommend a normal or dry bead in order for it to keep its shape. Again, if this is your first time with acrylic, please check out my easy acrylic nail art tutorial video for beginners linked in the description box below. But this design is also easy for beginners. That video just goes in further detail of acrylic and liquid monomer. Step 2. After that is completely dry, take a small bead of black acrylic powder with liquid monomer and place it on the bottom of the rectangle like so. We are trying to create a triangle shape for the highlighter. Just push the sides of the acrylic bead for a triangle shape like so and it will set in place in about 30 seconds depending on the consistency. Step 3. After that is dry, take the orange color again and add it on the bottom of that triangle tip that we made with black for the actual highlighter color. I chose this shape to be a little triangle. Step 4. On a nail, I had previously painted a thin light pink or almost nude color and added just a tiny bit of glitter. On the nail, add drips on the top by putting a circular bead of orange acrylic near the top edge of the nail and then narrow the edges and pull it upwards. This is really hard to explain in words, so you can see for yourself. I repeated this three times and joined all of them on the top. Step 
Step 5. Then place it on a nail with a drip background. I used clear acrylic to do that, but you can use nail glue or very strong clear nail polish. Just make sure whatever you use to stick it on is strong. Step 6. Add a gorgeous glossy top coat and admire your masterpiece! You can make several of these highlighters in many different colors like I did. Please subscribe, comment, share and like this video if you learned something. Again, if you decide to try this design out, then please let me know. I'd love to see them. Thank you so much for watching.